Hey everyone, this is the Crew Dog again. Today, okay, what I'm going to be doing is I am answering a lot of emails that I've been receiving, a lot of questions, posts, and a whole bunch of stuff from a lot of people out there with the same problem happening. All right. Two phones, okay, and I've already gone over these phones as a comparison. I've got the Samsung S390G, I've got the LG 530G. We'll start, okay, with the problem child, the Samsung S390G. Before I go any further, okay, I do not work for Track Phone, I do not work for Net10, I do not legally represent them at all. I have nothing, no venture, nothing at all with, uh, with track phone. I also do not work for, represent, or anything, Samsung or LG. All right. A lot of people are writing in, asking questions, okay? Here's one of the questions that I've been receiving. Is there any way to get rid of, delete, or deactivate the browser on these phones? The answer to that question is no. Can't be done. Okay. What's happening, okay, is a lot of people are complaining, saying that they've had the phone in their pocket, in their handbag, whatever it might be. They have the keyboard locked. And next thing you know, when they pick up the phone, they've lost a lot of time, and the browser is engaged. Let me show you the problem, okay? Okay, to lock the keyboard on the S390G, the lower right on the Alt key for alternate, there's a little lock on there. You can see a little lock right there. Okay. We press and we hold that, and the keyboard is now locked. Notice on the lower left it says unlock. So that's right above the soft key, which is that little line right there. That's a pretty big key. So to unlock it, okay, we have to press that, and then you see where it says OK? Press that. Now it's unlocked. Okay, now you can feel OK, and it feels like on the edge of here, it's a little bit raised up. Very, very easy to do. It's a very low pressure, you know, effort to do, to, to, to do that. So let me go ahead and do that again. Lock it. Press the Alt key and hold it. Unlock it, press the left soft key, and then right away the right soft key. Boom, boom. Now, this is in your pocket. It's happened to me several times when I, when I lock it and I put it in my front pocket and just, just walk. The motion of walking, okay, activates and it hits. It's just rock, 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 rock. Sounds like a song, doesn't it? So it goes boom, boom. Oh, look at that. It's unlocked. Now, while it's still in your pocket or your handbag or wherever it might be, presses again. Now, I'm out of airtime. If there was airtime in there, that would have engaged the browser. And the browser, okay, will not disengage unless you manually press the button to, to, uh, to turn it off. And it's not the same key. It's a different one. So it's going to be there, and one of the things, okay, that the crew dog does is when he goes traveling, and I've been traveling a lot for a guy on a business, and I've been gone for quite a while, right, for a couple months, and that's why I haven't posted anything in the recent little while because uh, I haven't been around. I've been busy, 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 busy. So that's what's going on with that. So if you have one of these, beware. If you use it as an alarm clock, like the crew dog does, and you set it, that's a question also, okay, is how do I set the alarm on this thing? Well, there again, you go to your menu. Now, this one, okay, does not have a toggle. It's got that sensor where you just move your finger over it, and you go to Tools, and you go down one. See, I don't like this because... You know, inadvertently, if you go to hit that to push it, if you go up a little bit, you're on the wrong one. Okay, 
There's the alarm. We can press it again. Here's the options right here. We'll press options. Okay, select, create alarm, whatever. If you already have one in there, you can just press the center key. See what happened just now? You see that? That's why the crew dog doesn't like this too much. Now, right now it's off. To set it okay, you have to be turned on. See what's happening? Look at that. There. And we go down one. Now you would just type in whatever time you want to have in there. Now this, I got mine set on 24 hour time. That's because the crew dog spent 24 years in the, in the military defending his country. Huh? Can you believe that? So I'm used to, you know, 24 hour or what they call Zulu time. So I'm going to set it for okay for 830. You keep on pressing down and then you would choose what type of alarm you want to have in there. Okay, you got melody. Options are okay. Well, it doesn't give you the options there, but you can press for melody, you can press for uh, you want to have it uh, vibrate, whatever you want to do, you can do all that stuff. What day you want to have, the time. Once you get it there, press the save button. Now your alarm is there. And you can see on your upper, next to the speaker up there, like a little clock. That's how you know that your alarm is set. We'll even, we'll even press the red button and see that alarm is still up there, it's still set. Now, some phones, I'm not sure about this one, even if you have the phone turned off, and that alarm is still there, okay, the alarm will go off. So you want to make sure that the alarm is turned off when you don't use the phone for quite a while. So I'm going to go here. Now some phones, okay, have a system to where you can just program it in to your rapids, which this one doesn't have, of course. Ah, there it goes again. How many of you have the same problem the crew dog does? Probably quite a few. Hit the options, select, and I'm going to turn it off now. It's off. Save. There we go. Now it's off. You can see the alarm up on top is now that, not there anymore. All right. That's what's happening. That's how you set the alarm. That's what's happening when you lock the keys. And that's how your keyboard unlocks so easily. If you have kids, especially if you have smaller kids, and you know a lot of parents, they give like a kid, you know, the kid's crying, wah, 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 so they give them the phone, and that keeps the kid quiet for a while, but even if the key, oh, it's okay, the keyboard's locked, he's not going to hurt anything. Mm-hmm, sure. Because they're going to play, and when they do play, they're going to unlock it. And they might hit, like, you know, some people have, like, for, uh, you know, into their, see, when they hit, like, number one, they might have 911 programming the number one. If they do, next thing you know, some of these phones have a locator, like a locator beacon, and Deputy Dan will know where you're at, will come to your house, knock on your door, and say, what's the emergency? Well, emergency? Well, there's no emergency. Uh, it, was, it was your kid playing with the phone. So that's what happens. That's how your browser engages itself. And how can you avoid that? Well, you can do what the crew dog did. Okay? You can push the red button, let the phone turn itself off, okay? and then find a drawer somewhere, put the phone in the drawer, and walk away. Pick up something else. Okay, now the crew dog okay also at one time used the LG 530G phone. It works the same way. Right down here on the top of the mailbox is a lock key there on that one, this one here too. Press and hold it. Operates the same way. Unlock and then yes. Now this one's a little bit more difficult to do because it uses more pressure and 
the keys soft key okay is not as wide as the whole entire surface there's just half of that so it's a smaller surface and it's got more of a pressure which is called a detent it's got more of a detent to actually push that down so while it's in your handbag wherever it's at okay it, it can happen sure it can happen but the odds are a lot less than on the S390G phone. There is no phone built today, no phone made, that is goof proof. Uh, it can be in your pocket, next thing you know, you're out of time. It can happen. Even on this phone, can you delete the browser? No. See, it's out of their time, but still, that's what happens. So that's why a lot of times when you have the phone in your handbag, pocket, under your pillow as an alarm clock, even if you're, it's on the mattress, whatever else, while you're sleeping, like the crew dog does. And the crew dog, he moves around an awful lot when he sleeps. He doesn't lay in one place. He's all over the place. But why? Because he's a crew dog. And he might inadvertently hit that button. And when you do, you lose all your air time. What's the cure to that? Well, several. But I won't go into those. All right. Now, other questions, okay, is when I have a phone, say, example, it might be the LG 530, it might be our friend, the S390G, when you do, okay, replace the phone with another phone, and you have this one left, okay, with these phones, okay, once you're out of air time or once you transfer the number to a new phone, that phone's dead, and you cannot use it again, unless... You call our friends at TrackPhone or Net10, and you tell them, okay, I have a phone that I used to use, and I want to reactivate that phone. And they'll say, okay, does it use a SIM card? And you'll say, yes, it does. So they'll say, okay, we will send you out a new SIM card. Once you receive that SIM card, give us a call. So what you'll do is you will open your phone up. Where's the deep tent? Where are you? Right there. Open it up. Take out your SIM card, which is easy to do. Just push this forward, and you can use whatever, a screwdriver, whatever it is. I don't have any fingernails. But you can pull it out, and to get the new one, put the new one in. Put the battery in. Put the back back on. And then in that envelope that you got your new SIM card with is a phone number. Call that phone number. And then talk to your friendly representative from TrackPhone or Net10, and they'll help you to reactivate that phone with a new SIM card. That's how you do it. If you are not going to keep the phone, I would suggest highly that you go into the phone, go into your contacts, remove them all. All the phone numbers you have in there, you have to manually go through it, or you can do it all at one time, whatever. But remove all your contacts. Remove all the last numbers or the numbers that you have called. Remove, re, just wipe it out all the way. Totally, totally wipe it. There's one place on there, okay, that you can go on to. And let me see if I can find it in here for you. Settings. Phone settings. So you can see too. Reset settings. Master clear. Okay, phone. This will reset the phone to the default value and all your data will be deleted. Do you want to do this? Yes. Security code. When you get your phone from track phone, unless you've changed it, that number is zero 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 zero. Four zeros. Zero 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 zero. Four zeros. And then you press enter key. Deleting. You can sing a song, whatever you want to do. And you can see right there, okay, everything that was in there is being deleted. Now you want to make sure, okay, you're not going to use that phone anymore. Because if you are going to use that phone, everything that was in there is now G O N E, which is gone. It's done. So now this phone. It's the same now, and it's turning itself off and back on. It's the same as it was when you first got this one from the mail, from the store, whatever, okay? It's totally wiped. Gone, clean, empty. 
Now, what you can do if you wanted to is you are able to get a new SIM card in there, activate it, or you can, if you want to sell this phone to a friend, whatever it is, you can do that without any of your information being accessible by anybody else because some people leave it in there and next thing you know you are in trouble okay so that is the thing answering questions okay about these phones about how they unlock themselves how the minutes got wiped out how all this stuff happens how do I delete all the information off of the phone if I want to sell it what do I do what do I do what do I do also, what I do as well, okay, is I take out the SIM card that's in the phone, and, well, I haven't got any fingernails. Take out the SIM card. Once you get it out, okay, bend it over that gold inlay in there. Break it so that nobody else can ever use that to get your information off of there. And then you want to pitch it. Pitch it. Goodbye. All right. So, that was that. I hope it answers a lot of questions. There's probably still a lot of questions out there. So if you have any questions, what it might be, any comments, whatever they might be, and if I ask for comments, okay, I ask for serious comments. I always get a couple people. I don't know if they're kids or people who just, for whatever reason, they have nothing else to do. They just say some, uh, excuse the expression, some stupid stuff. So, you know, let's keep the, uh, keep the conversations a little bit intelligent, please. And that's why the service is here for you. And uh, I guess it's for the entertainment of some people who've got nothing else to do in life. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions, again, okay, post it. I answer my questions, whether it be verbal, which is, you know, through email, whatever, or I do things like this where I do videos. I am back in town for a while. As I said, I do own a business, and I was gone for a couple months doing some stuff here and there and uh, I got everything taken care of for a while so I'm um, here for a bit I'm more than willing and ready and able to uh, post a response to you so this is the crew dog saying ow